Hi, my name is Nicholas, and I am founder and technical lead at Formula Pi. Today I'm going to show you how to extrapolate a six-order polynomial and retrieve the coefficients. And the reason you need to do that is if you're looking for where your curve or function intersects the x-axis or the y-axis, or, you know, when does it cross this point, or, you know, where is the maximum, you could do all that with... Um, with the coefficients and multiplying and dividing them, whatever you whatever you want to do with them, you can do. Uh, but first, you, you need them. You can get them in the chart settings, uh, but you won't be able to actually manipulate them the way you would, especially if you're running a macro um, in Excel, because you can't you can't have the macro you know read what's on the chart settings, then pull that into each different cell. Not going to work like that. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and show you how to do it. What you're going to want to do is index the line est function to get the coefficients. So first I'll label these so we know exactly what's what so we're not confused. And here we're going to index. And you can hit the, the tab key anytime your uh, function or your variable comes up. So you don't have to fill it all in. So I can put IND and index pops up, hit tab, and it fills it in for you. Now Excel is very intuitive. Uh, it'll ask you and it'll tell you exactly what it wants. Uh, but for this one, we're going to use the line. We're going to put the, a function inside a function. Pretty cool. And like I said, very intuitive, known wise. Right there. Close that comma out. Our known x's. Known x's. Okay, and from here, we want to tell it what exponents we're looking for. And in our curly bracket, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Close curly bracket. Close parenthesis. And we're going to hit dash 1. Dash 1. And we'll close that out as well. So hopefully we can get the number we're looking for. So that, that is the number. I've checked this, and that is the number we're looking for. So that is the correct function. Now you might say, well, how are we going to get the, the rest of them? Fairly simple. We're going to hotkey this. And... So that turned out as a value. So we'll see if we just change the two here. Oh, that doesn't work. Take this function and enter. And we'll just do this across. And we can just go in here and we can change which one we want. Simple as that. Three, four. And last but not least, constant. So if you were to, it's hard to see this right now, but it actually would look something like this. Blah, 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 x, and raise that to your sixth, and so on and so forth. And that's what the equation would look like. So you'd have your um, y equals that, and then each of these would come down and be x to the fifth, x to the fourth, third, and so on. Now this is very important because from here, you could do whatever whatever you want to do, whatever points you want to find, you could just plug them in. And if you want to find where, you know, it, it stops, uh, where it converges, where, uh, I mean, the possibilities are endless once you're at this point. So I think you guys can handle it from here. And I appreciate you watching our first video at Formula Pi and hope to see you again soon. Thank you.